I'm going to give you my one year experience using the DJI Advada. When it comes to fast and thrilling shots, the DJI Advada has definitely been my go-to drone for the past year. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why. Now, obviously, when it comes to cinematic shots, the DJI Mavic Air 2 is the go-to drone for me. But today we are talking about the Advada, so we'll talk about this drone in another video. One of the main reasons why I got the DJI Advada instead of an actual FPV drone has to be the safety features. Because one safety feature that I love with the DJI Advada is if you're flying the drone in manual mode and you want to stop because you're freaking out or you're just about to crash, you press one button and it completely stops your flight and puts the drone at a halt. I honestly have not used this feature because my drone, I can't get it to go into manual mode. I don't know why, it's something to do with my controller, but hopefully in the, one of my upcoming videos, I can get it to work. But obviously there's other safety features like GPS, and obviously when you lose signal, it can go back home. But other FPV drones do have that, especially with the higher end FPV drones. So that is not a big feature with the DJI Advada, but it's still a feature I love, especially when you lose signal and you want to find your DJI Advada. One thing that I extremely dislike about the DJI Advada is the fact that they ship these two things together, also known as the DJI Motion Controller. Now this is a fun controller, if you could figure out how to use it. I tried to use it once, couldn't figure out how to use it, but if you guys would like me to make a video on this, let me know. I think that's one of the stupidest decisions that DJI had to make. They should make it so they have two where you could have it like this, or you could buy it like this. I don't think they should only have it so you could buy it like this, but that's just my opinion. Now, obviously, if you want to actually fly the drone and use manual mode, you have to buy this controller once it's an extra $200. On top of all the money you have to spend on this drone, which I despise. But one tip about this controller is when I started flying the DJI Vada, I flew it like this, but I experienced that sometimes I would let go of the sticks, which would cause me to crash. But now I fly with a method called the claw, was ever since switching to that method, I have experienced less crashes due to accidental stick movement. And obviously it's easier to move and you don't accidentally mess up. So definitely fly it like that if you consider getting this control. One thing that I liked about DJI going into the FPV station is the fact that their camera quality is just amazing. And I love like this little camera, do you think wouldn't be that good? But it's actually a very good camera. It's very good for the size especially how most fpv drones you have to get something like a gopro or another action camera on top of the drone which just adds more cost more weight and a bunch more other things that i won't get into because i never flown an fpv drone so i shouldn't be talking about that stuff but maybe once i get one we'll talk about that later another thing that i extremely like about the dji advada is the fact that their transmission chip in this thing is amazing especially compared to other fpv drones that don't have that good of a signal. Like if you go behind stuff, your signal will cut out. Now obviously, if you go behind things with this and go inside the buildings, your signal will cut out. But honestly, it's this is kind of a new thing. So DJI might make it better eventually because they only made two FPV style drones. They made the DJI FPV and then they made a Cineloop style drone that is called the DJI Vada, which is now the mainstream drone that most people go to when they want to go for a DJI FPV drone because the build quality of the DJI FPV, but we'll get into that in another video. One thing that made me almost not get the DJI Vada was the build quality, because I know actual FPV drones build quality is amazing, but I am actually impressed with the build quality of this drone. Obviously, if you watch my videos, you've seen how many times I crashed this, but look, it's not that scratched. Obviously, it has a few scratches here and there, but that's just all cosmetic. Obviously, I had to replace these a few times, but nothing expensive, and obviously, I would suggest getting DJI care with this. So if you total it, you don't have to spend a bunch of money to replace it. Honestly, I haven't had to use it yet, but I definitely think I will one day, but hopefully no time soon. When it comes to the goggles of the DJI Vada, the goggles quality inside the actual goggles themselves is amazing because most FPV style goggles are not good. Even most people use these goggles for their FPV style drones because thankfully DJI lets you actually use these with other drones. Now, obviously, a pro tip with this is get a silicone thing. Obviously, let me see if I can take it off. Get something like this to make it so light don't leak. And then get something to put your battery on so you do not have to put it in your pocket. And also, one mistake that I have made with these goggles, don't point it up so the sun doesn't ruin it. And also, put an SD card in it so if you lose your drone and cannot find it, or you destroy it and the video gets corrupted, you still have video, or as I like to call it, 
proof to post on social media. Okay, now that I have told you all the good and bad things about the DJI Vada, do I think you should still get the DJI Vada even though it has been out for almost two years? The simple answer is yes, the long answer is no. It honestly depends on what your use cases are. Like if you want a cinematic style drone and you just want slow cinematic footage, definitely get something like the DJI Mavic series. Cause this is a good drone and this is actually meant for cinematic footage. And I tried to do cinematic footage with this drone and it does not look good due to the two axis gimbal and most met DJI drones have three axis gimbals. What makes the footage definitely way more smoother. Now when it comes to like obviously Cineloop style drones where you could fly kind of in an FPV situation but you still limited and you still have the safety feature like the DJI Mavics, I definitely think you should get the DJI Vada. Now, if you're like a full-fledged FPV pilot and you've been flying FPV drones for years, which I have not, I never flown an FPV drone in my life, I would definitely like to eventually, I do not think the DJI Vada is for you. Now, I hope you guys like this style of content. I never made a video like this before, so it's obviously not going to be good because honestly, I'm not used to just sitting in front of a camera and talking for 10 minutes straight. But hopefully, if I keep doing videos like this, my qualities improve just like my droning footage because especially in the past three months, my videos have been getting way better. Now, I'll see you guys in next week's adventure and have a good rest of your weekend and see you guys later.